I was thinking about Sayori earlier. I still wish I could have handled that whole thing a little more tactfully. You're not still hung up over it, right? <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. That pun was completely unintentional, I swear. But anyway, I know how much you cared about her. So it only feels right for me to share her last moments with you. You know how Sayori is really clumsy? Well, she kind of messed up the whole hanging thing. You're supposed to jump from high enough that the rope snaps your neck, making it quick and painless. But she just used a chair, meaning she kind of just left herself to slowly asphyxiate. But a few seconds in, she must have changed her mind or something, because she started clawing at the rope, trying to free herself. She must have kept at it all the way until she lost consciousness. That's why her fingertips were all bloody anyway. Come to think of it, it was probably less changing her mind and more of just her survival instincts kicking in, so you can't really fault her for that. It's easier to think that you probably wouldn't have changed your mind anyway, right? It's not healthy to think about the things you could have done differently. So just remember that even though you could have saved her, it's technically not your fault she killed herself. They may have exacerbated it a little bit. But Sayori was already mentally ill. Still, though, I wonder how things would be if you and I just started dating from the get-go. I guess we'd all still be in the club room writing poems and having fun together. But what's the point when none of it was even real? I mean, it's the same ending either way, right? The two of us, happily together. There's no reason to ask for any more than that. I was just pointlessly musing. I'm really as happy as I could be right now.